Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about all of the podcasts that I love listening to. So really, basically, this is a video about the podcasts that I listen to because I'm like really picky when it comes to podcasts. And if I don't absolutely love it, I will not listen to it. Like I cannot get through more than a couple of episodes if I don't love it. So these are all of the podcasts that I listen to on a regular basis and that I just really, really love and I wanted to share with you. You will probably know some of these if you're a podcast listener, but maybe there's a few in here that you have not yet heard about. So let's start with some bookish ones. The first one is Why We Why A. This is actually hosted by my good friend Kales and her friend Allison. And this is a podcast Podcasts, you know all about YA books. They both kind of realize that there are podcasts out there for like publishers or for authors but there's not really like a YA podcast and so they made this podcast all about YA and they do loads of different kind of stuff. They sometimes do like tags, they do discussions, they do like a monthly read where they then discuss a book in an episode. I just really really love listening to the episodes. They are always around like 30 minutes and I just really really enjoy it and I think they bring up some really interesting topics and I highly highly recommend it. I think if you're on booktube and you're a podcast listener then this is a must. And the other one that's kind of bookish is Potterless. This is about I think he's now 25? I'm not sure, obviously his age changes. This is about a 20 something guy who is reading Harry Potter for the first time. And so he always goes through a couple of chapters in each episode together with a guest and really kind of looks at the things in details, analyzes it and has like theories about it. And this podcast is so much fun. I absolutely love it. I think the guy who does it is amazing. I think the guests are amazing and there's all kinds of different guests. For the most part it's like Harry Potter lovers who you know know a lot about it but then recently he also had someone on who is like not the biggest fan of Harry Potter and had like lots of stuff that he just wasn't really happy with. He points out so many ridiculous things. He is also someone who what I personally really really love he is definitely someone who is not scared to you know call out JK Rowling for her bullshit but I do think that like he is able to talk about some things and be like this is ridiculous but I think he's never like disrespectful which I really really appreciate and it's just really fun to kind of read the books through his lens I would highly recommend it like if I would have to do like a top three or so this would probably be in it and then my personal introduction to podcasts was Dear Hank and John this is a podcast hosted by the Green Brothers from Vlog Brothers I just really really like them both so I'm obviously really enjoying their podcast and them kind of talking together answering advice questions sometimes in a really great way sometimes in a not so great way but just always really really fun this might be my number one favorite if I'm honest because this is just something that always makes me happy and I remember a couple of phases where I was like feeling really really down and I think actually that was when I started listening to it because I just didn't really want to do much but I needed something to do I needed something to keep me engaged in a way and Dear Hank and John was just absolutely perfect for that and I appreciate this podcast so so much and on that note I also really really love Delete This this is a kind of newish podcast that Hank Green is doing together with his wife Catherine I absolutely love Catherine and so I was so excited that you know they are doing this podcast together they are always kind of reviewing Hank's tweets throughout the week so we will always kind of go through the tweets that Hank has said there's already like segments because basically almost every week he tweets Trump he talks about some drafts that he maybe realized weren't so good to publish and all these kinds of things I love it it's just great because Hank and Catherine are so great and while we are at the topic of youtuber podcast I absolutely love Hanalyze This. This is a podcast by Hannah Hart and her friend Hannah Gelb. So Hanalyze This, I love the name, I think it's so cool. And I'm not really sure how to like sum it up because it's basically just two friends having a chat about a certain topic and they do all kinds of different topics. They just did video games, they have done kind of toxic relationships. So sometimes it's like fun, sometimes it's like sad or like more serious. Sometimes they try out new things like they went into these sensory 
pots, floating pots, you know. It's just a lot of fun because Hannah Hart is just such an amazing person and Hannah Gelb is such an amazing person and this is just another one that really cheers me up. And then obviously, YouTuber podcasts, Not Too Deep by Grace Helbig. This is definitely a podcast that kind of I enjoy more sometimes than I do other times because this always really focuses on a guest. So, you know, when there is a guest that I really, really love or, uh, you know, a guest that maybe I haven't heard of before, but that is just really kind of someone that has my kind of humor, then obviously it's more enjoyable than on episodes where I don't know anything about the person and I can't really connect to them. But still, I really kind of listen to every episode. I really like just Grace as a host. I really love her producer Jack and they always have a little bit of a chat in the beginning of the episodes. Then I have How to Be Less Old. This is an Earwolf podcast that sadly just got cancelled but I mean I think you have like 180 episodes to catch up so it's not bad for you it's bad for me because I am incredibly sad. So this is a podcast that originally started out as OMFG and then they changed it into How To Be Less Old because their kind of topic is inviting youngish people. I think the kind of rule is like under 25 and they kind of talk about like what's hip and what's in and that already tells you that I really need this podcast because nobody says what's hip anymore. <laughs> But you know, they like talk about like different kinds of stuff. Sometimes they focus really on like a new meme, a new trend. But then also the guests a lot of the times are really interesting because they have like guests from TV shows. The other day they had Kristen Bell because one of the hosts went to school with her. It's really interesting. Sometimes they have like super young guests, like nine years old. And then sometimes they also have a little bit of older guests. And then it's really fun to kind of see them talk about like this new trend and them being like, we don't get it, we don't know where it's from. I just think that, you know, it's a great podcast because the hosts are just really fun. I think they are really willing to learn and like actually willing to learn. Obviously sometimes they make fun of things, but I also feel like, you know, listening through it for a couple of months, I realized how important it was also to them to kind of learn about like not appropriating culture or, you know, all these kinds of things like racism and, and homophobia. I think that they really, really grew as people. I'm incredibly sad that it got canceled. As I said, there's 180 episodes for you to listen to and I would highly recommend it even though it's now canceled. Then I have Flash Forward. This is a podcast that kind of looks at futuristic stuff. It will always start with a little bit of a kind of fictional story where we will have actual like voice actors kind of acting out a scene that could happen in this kind of futuristic setting. And then after that, it's like actual talking about is there a possibility for this future to happen? So for example, they were talking about a future where the internet dies. They were talking about like having like manufactured bees because all of the bees are dead. It's all kinds of different topics. Sometimes it's very focused on like technical stuff. Sometimes it's focused on like community or society and it's all kinds of different things and I think it's another podcast that's a lot of fun because it really makes you think about the future and it makes you imagine the future but then it's also like actually looks at how possible that future is which I think is amazing. Then I have She's All Fat. This is a podcast hosted by two fat women and it's about body positivity and they also tackle all kinds of different topics. They also have like different segments. They talk about like what they kind of love this week. They talk about like fatness in media. It's just, it's a lot of fun. It does not only focus on body positivity or, you know, being fat, but that's definitely kind of the overarching theme for it. But it tackles all kinds of things. And I think it's really just an important podcast for everybody because of the body positivity, but also because it really talks about how to be an ally for fat people, how fat is not a bad word. And like, I just think it's so great. And you know, they kind of always say like chill vibes only. And it's so true. I think even if they get like heated about a topic, it's still always like chill. And I actually really, really love falling asleep to this one because it just 
makes me feel really chill. I think this would actually be the other one that would be in my top three. And then finally, I have Spirits. This is actually a podcast that I have kind of known about for a really, really long time because I follow one of the hosts on YouTube. She kind of always talked about it, but that was a time where I wasn't yet really listening to podcasts. So just recently, I've started catching up on the episodes. This is a podcast that talks about mythology, about urban legends, about all these kinds of things. And in the beginning, I just wasn't really sure if I would enjoy it, but I just really love both of the hosts. It's really like a mix because, you know, Amanda, the person that I knew from YouTube, she is someone who doesn't really know anything about mythology. And then the other girl, I forgot her name, but she's kind of the one who has all of the information about all of the kind of mythology and urban legends and stuff like that. They often have guests who kind of talk about stories that they are familiar with or that they just really, really love or enjoy. Sometimes it's creepy, sometimes it's funny, it's everything on that spectrum. And they are always drinking while doing the podcast. And so they kind of always talk about what they are drinking. Yeah, it's just another one that I really enjoy. It's also like episodes that are between, I think 20 and 40 minutes. So it's another one that I just really enjoy, like just listening to one episode while getting ready in the morning or something. Hello, this is just a quick interruption to say that I filmed this video a couple of weeks ago and I had to postpone posting it because I um, just had so many other videos that I wanted to post. But since I filmed that video, there is one more podcast that I have truly come to love since then. So I want to also mention Nancy. This is a podcast hosted by two people and it is all about queer stories. Most of the time there's guests, but also sometimes, you know, the hosts kind of tell stories because they are both queer as well. It's just so good and sometimes it's very sad sometimes it's very fun and very like happy there's so many different stories from queer people i just truly love it because it offers so much diversity in the community itself and so much different kind of stories some regarding just stories of the life of this person that is a guest or they had an episode talking about you know queerness in harry potter and how disappointing it is to be a queer fan of harry potter and just being dumped over and over again all these kinds of things so nancy is definitely another podcast that i truly love and would highly recommend and i just had to throw that in here because I could not post this video without saying that because I've truly been loving and binging this in the past couple of days. So yeah, these were all of the podcasts that I love and that I listen to regularly. Obviously, now I want to know what are your favorite podcasts and what podcasts do you feel like you cannot live without anymore or do you even listen to podcasts? And if you have any particular recommendations, then please let me know in the comments down below, especially looking at the ones that I just mentioned. And thank you so, so much for watching. I guess I'll see you soon. Bye!